Hi guys, it is the Game Geek 15 here, and welcome to another video. Now, um, I might sound uh, a bit tired and a bit not with it, and that's basically because I am. I've slept most uh, of this evening, and um, I came to do a video just a minute ago, and um, basically the video you're seeing right now, this Minecraft video, and it was a live commentary to go with it, and I was talking about some different topics and stuff, uh, and it was going really well. And after finishing half an hour worth of a uh, video that I was going to put up straight, I thought, great, it's going to be awesome. Um, listen back, and it didn't pick up my mic at all, even though I selected it in fraps and it was working before. All of a sudden, not working, and I was just like, what? So, this is a kind of compromise. It's not going to be as long as the other one, I do apologise, and it's obviously not a live commentary, you're just going to see it going on in the background, but I'm really sorry, it's really late, I'm really tired, and it's just the best I can come up with. And um, it's probably one of the reasons why I'm going to be happy-ish to finish a uh, this April madness, or whatever you want to call it. Because um, it's basically making me rush to do a video that uh, would be something I wouldn't actually upload just because I have to upload something every day. So really, you know, I, I see the good it's done for me in the sense that I'm uploading regular content. But in the sense of uh, being regular but good content, yeah, that's not always the case. So I, I, I'm, I'm going to be glad in the sense when it's over that I can just basically go back to doing, um, well, not go back to doing the way I used to do it because that was like a video a month on the gaming channel. But um, going back to maybe doing three, four videos a week, etc. But four, three or four good videos that I can put like maybe a day, you know, a, a, a few days work into or whatever. Or when I can come up with a really good idea to do something, not rushing like I was today to come up with something last minute. So I'm... Um, I'm going to move on from this now. I'm going to talk about something I talked about in the original video, which was um, some details about Black Ops 2. Now, a lot of you are probably a bit sick of it right now, but it's just something that's going on on the internet quite a bit lately. I just wanted to go through some of the information I had, just in case you didn't know about it. Now, um, I don't know if you watch FPS Rush. I don't know if you watch FPS Russia, but I definitely do. And um, he's got a video out lately of this drone, which has a machine gun mounted on the bottom and can be controlled by this iPad-like uh, device. And basically, he sh demonstrates uh, it taking off. He flies it around and he shoots these um, dummies, or like uh, like he normally shoots dummies on his uh, on his channel. And um, Basically, I say dummies, but they're mannequins. Let's, let's, let me get myself completely politically correct here. They're, they're mannequins. And um, basically, after reading some of the comments, I noticed that uh, there was actually some CGI work. Well, what looks like CGI work in this video. It starts off with like a genuine, well, a genuine, like, device so it was actually was there and then it cuts and it starts like a new video with a CGI version of that uh, drone and basically the way we we, we found it out uh, not me personally but uh, the community found it out is that it, all of a sudden the thickness of the casing where the blades are held in changes quite dramatically so you're obviously gonna think how that wouldn't change on its own and it looks if you really look if I zoomed in like I did zoom in quite a bit if you really look at it closely it does look um, computer generated so that leads you to think that it is computer generated then later on XJaws releases a video going through FPS Russia's video and basically finds something really interesting the tablet style device that uh, um, FPS Russia uses to control the drone in his video is actually the exact same device that you use to control a drone in the campaign of MW3. Now, when I say exact, I do mean exact. I'll have to link you to F uh, to X the video because it's really interesting. I'll put an annotation or a link in the description. Go and check out that video because honestly, it's quite um, an eye opener in 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 the similarity. It is very very uh, I like. So um, it's it's really hard to get away with the fact that it's so alike. But um, this kind of thing has happened in Call of Duty before. If you remember um, Modern Warfare 1, now the AC-130, if I remember correctly, that's what it's called. I might have completely mixed up the name, but that's the only name I can come uh, to think right now. The AC-130 in, was in MW1 or whatever it was, and you can control that in the campaign. But when it came to the multiplayer, it actually didn't feature. And actually, it didn't feature until MW2. So this kind of thing has happened before. Something that featured in the campaign of MW1 went into MW2. I don't know there's a difference between Modern Warfare and Triax, uh, Black Ops, or World at War games. Because obviously, they're different eras. I understand that completely. But... 
it doesn't mean, you know, that, that there's too much of, um, there's too many things in FPS Rush's video, and he's, he's really uh, close in the Call of Duty community, he's a big YouTuber, it really wouldn't come as much of a surprise if it actually was linked to the next game. Or people could be looking into things too much, and it could just be a complete coincidence. But, uh, you know, when it comes to Call of Duty, things do, people do look into things uh, quite closely, and uh, there are obviously going to be some things that are absolute load of rubbish that have nothing to do with black ops at the end of the day but it's really interesting just to have a look into it anyway if you have uh some time to have a look at this video because it just highlights something that i would never have guessed in a million years and to be honest i didn't notice that the drone change until um i looked at the comments um then someone said you know skip to this minute and see how how the thickness of the of the casing changes and i was like whoa and because i was looking at the video before and i was like you know it's kind of unbelievable uh, you know that this thing I know the technology around but for FPS Roger to have this kind of thing and the way he controlled it so smoothly and killed all these guys so nice and easily and then also something that was very unbelievable for me was that they let a prototype that he said this is what he said is a prototype that wouldn't appear for a century no, sorry, sorry, a century, <laughs> it wouldn't appear for a decade, that's what he said, it's something that wouldn't appear, like, available for people for a decade, to, like, a prototype to be blown up in the car, that's the last thing he did in the video, he blew it up in a car, no way would a prototype that's worth that much, probably worth that amount of money, and that wouldn't come out uh, in it for another decade, no way would he be allowed to blow that thing up, that is ridiculous, and that's, what I think, that what made me think twice about it, that was the big thing, was like, hang on, no, this wouldn't happen. And I think that was why I was speaking to us some other people, and I think that's the same kind of thing they picked up on. So I think if he hadn't have done that, or maybe it was done on purpose to make you think, you know, to make you do some investigating, because obviously if it is something to do with Call of Duty, they really want you to hype about it. They want you to do this digging and all this stuff. And I think they really enjoy, if, they, if they've done this video, then it's clear that they really enjoy leaving clues and Easter eggs for people to pick up on. Because, you know, they're used to doing, especially Triarch, they do it in Zombies all the time. So, um, you know, it's kind of the thing they do very well. But, so if it is something to do with FPS Roger, then honestly that video is brilliant, the way it's been put together. And if it is something to do with it, and then, uh, you know, it's just brilliant. <laughs> but uh, it could be a complete load of rubbish, or it could be, you know, everybody could have picked it up on it's on the right track. But anyway, link, as I said, down in the description to that video. Go and check it if you've got some time. But that's about it for me now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. This Minecraft video is actually half an hour long, but obviously I'm not going to play you the full half an hour. I'm not sure I'm going to do it, so stay tuned to see what happens. I may um, do some more discussions later on and post the rest of the footage, or um, or I may just jump to uh, to continue it. Because there's not a lot that I do. I tend to walk around while I'm talking quite a bit, so I think I'll just skip to uh, skip to um, when something interesting is happening in my uh, basically single player. Let's play Minecraft. I know it's not kind of thing that a lot of you want to see, but um, I want to kind of do a variation. I know I've done Minecraft yesterday, but as I said, so tired today. Uh, I don't really feel great at all. I feel like my voice is going. I don't actually know until I hear this back. But um, sorry guys, but uh, Call of Duty definitely tomorrow Friday. I'm up for Call of Duty tomorrow. We're gonna get a Call of Duty video out. I'm not sure if it's gonna be MW3 or not, but we'll do some sort of Call of Duty video and stuff. So thanks guys for watching. Um, don't forget to check out the things I've said. And if you've got any theories on Call of Duty Black Ops 2, post a comment below, contact me. Honestly, I like to create discussion about things. You know, I enjoy having discussions with people about um, rumors and about technology and stuff like that. Pop a comment below, and if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a like, uh, subscribe for more videos in the future, and I'll see you guys very, very soon.